So let's go ahead and listen to this first one. This is Rashida Tlaib opening up her opening statement in this hearing. First, no one is illegal. That term is derogatory now because it dehumanizes people. You can say any other forms of maybe uh, coming in without regulations or, or so forth, but the use of illegal is disrespectful, and I ask my colleagues to, to try in so many ways to not dehumanize our immigrant neighbors that are trying to come in for a safe haven. All right, so what's important about that clip, right off the bat, you have essentially Rashida Tlaib in not so many words restating the entire Democrat belief on this. Now, there are people that are more extreme on, on certain ends of it than others, but the Democrat Party has moved from a place where people like Bill Clinton and even Barack Obama felt comfortable saying, look, we don't want illegal immigration. We don't want people just crossing the border. We don't want people breaking our laws. That you had Chuck Todd from the floor of the Senate coming up and saying, these people are breaking our laws and they do not deserve to be rewarded for that. Uh, you could go down the list of establishment Democrats, Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, Hillary Clinton, voting for the wall, voting to fund it, and even though they, yes, genuinely wanted more illegal immigrants to come in because they felt that they were going to vote for them, the point is they were at least giving lip service to the idea that we need to secure our borders. And now that is completely shifted. And yes, these are the the most far left, the most socialist out of the Democrats in, in the House, but even the mainstream Democrats now are saying, yes, we want health care for illegal immigrants, and essentially taking the stance of open borders. Again, some of them are more honest about that than others, but here's Rashida Tlaib pulling the mask off and, and just straight up saying, nobody's illegal. Which, by the way, the logic behind that is absolutely abysmal. Nobody's illegal, really. No one's illegal. So if a guy breaks into your house and takes all your stuff, he's good. Not illegal. If somebody comes in and murders your child or murders your spouse or murders you, nope, that's legal. I mean, the, the, the mental gymnastics you have to jump through to reach that kind of conclusion Rashida Tlaib, unfortunately, has, has tried to make that work, and it just doesn't work. The idea that you just can break laws and not be referred to as an illegal, and, and this is where they've, they've gone to, they're trying to say that, well, it, it dehumanizes people. But really what this is about is they want open borders. And we'll show another clip that kind of pays homage to that, but what they really want is open borders. They really want this to be considered a non-crime. It is illegal to cross into the United States without proper, proper documentation. It would be illegal for me. As a citizen of the United States, it would be illegal for me to cross into this country if I did not have proper documentation and pass through a legal port of entry. When I came back from overseas, I had to show my identity to prove I was who I said I was, and at an official... Uh, that that runs that, that, you know, is at the port of entry, had to look at my passport, verify I was who I said I was, and let me through. That was the legal process. That's how it's supposed to work. And I'm a citizen. And what Rashida, Rashida Tlaib is trying to suggest is somebody that is a non-citizen, that is not a citizen of this country and has no documentation whatsoever, should be able to cross a, cross, uh, go across the border in the dead of the night and not be held responsible for that. That that person is not illegal. Yes, they are. I'm sorry, I, maybe it doesn't make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, but that person is an illegal. In the same way that a citizen of this country would be considered an illegal if they broke a law. Whether it's something very serious like murder, or something very, what we would think of as benign, as running a stop sign, or running a red light, that is an illegal action. That is against the law. We have laws in this country. So the suggestion that no one's illegal is absurd. And also the idea that it dehumanizes people. How? Give me, show, this is where you show your work, give me the logical pathway from calling someone an illegal to it being dehumanizing. 
Now, calling people animals, calling people pigs or cows or fleas, that would be dehumanizing. You know, like her buddy Louis Farrakhan, when he called Jews fleas, that would be dehumanizing. Yes, there, there are things that you can say that dehumanizes people because you're suggesting that they are subhuman or less than human. That would be, by definition, dehumanizing. Trying to suggest that there is a tier system when it comes to race. For example, considering certain races of people fully human and other races of people not fully human, saying that certain races are less evolved or something like that. Yes, that is dehumanizing. We, we can talk about dehumanization. It is a real problem, and there are really people that do it. But suggesting that someone is illegal is not dehumanizing. It is in no way suggesting that they are not human or trying to degrade that. In fact, it actually humanizes them more. Now follow me on this. To suggest that someone is acting illegally, to say that someone is an illegal, would suggest what? That they have broken a law. Animals cannot break laws. It is impossible. For example... If, we'll just use animals here for example, if a stray steer wanders onto my land, then I have the right to remove him, but I cannot try him for trespassing. Why? Because he's not an illegal. Because he's not a human. He is an animal. He acts on instinct. He doesn't necessarily have control over his actions, and he cannot be taught laws in what is acceptable and what is not. You cannot try an animal for a crime. If, for example, there was a dog that was trained to attack and kill people, and he did exactly that, what would they do? They would try the person that trained him to do that for that crime. Whether it was murder or negligence or, or however the circumstances surrounding it, the point is the human would be held accountable not the dog. Why? Because the dog's not a human. It doesn't know any better. The person is a human and can be considered illegal. And so the idea that it dehumanizes people makes absolutely no sense. If anything, you're suggesting that they're human by suggesting that they have the capacity to break a law. And I hate to say this, but there are even good, well-intended people that have fallen for this lie. There are people that I, that I know, that I appreciate, that I think are intelligent. One guy I'm thinking of in particular that I think the world of has bought into this philosophy that suggesting that someone, because they break a law, to, that, that is saying that they are not human. And it absolutely drives me up a wall that just stating a simple fact that someone illegally entered this country, which is against the law of the United States, that saying that is the same as degrading them or calling them a cockroach or something. If I were to call them a demon or anything like that, that would be dehumanizing. Not the same as saying that somebody is illegal. But the truth is, this mentality is designed specifically to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to decriminalize crossing the border. They do not want people thinking of crossing the border into the United States as a crime. And because of that, they have slowly adjusted the narrative. They have slowly adjusted the language to try to move you as far away from terms that would suggest that they're breaking a law. And this is where we're going now. Because originally it was referred to as an illegal alien, which again, legally, perfectly correct. They are alien, they are not from this country, and they crossed into the country illegally. Therefore, they are an illegal alien. Technically, they're not even really illegal immigrants, because immigration is a legal process. And so by even suggesting that they are immigrants is to suggest that they went through some kind of legal process. If you came through here illegally, that is incorrect. But that's what they changed it to. They changed it to illegal immigrant to suggest that there was some kind of legal process that they went through. Then they moved it to, and this is the really crazy one, undocumented workers, 
which I'm sure that they they put through different test groups over and over again. The reason that that one wound up accomplishing their purposes is because undocumented just sounds like there was some kind of clerical error. It doesn't suggest that a crime actually took place, and worker would suggest that everybody coming across is a worker. For example, you have somebody that, that comes across that is five years old. They are an illegal alien, but they are not a worker. Now, can we maybe show some compassion for somebody that came across that did not do so of their own free will that their parents dragged them across? I'm open to having that discussion, but don't call them an undocumented worker because they're not a worker. And if they are working, then there's a whole other slew of problems that come across because we have child labor laws in this country. But my point in all of that is they've been slowly trying to adjust the language to help remove the idea of this being a crime from their minds. But that's not the case. It is still to this day crossing into America without proper documentation and permission from our government is indeed a crime. If you want to change that, change that. You're a lawmaker. But don't act like you're not for open borders when you're saying, well, it's not illegal. Well, if you don't want it to be illegal, then yes, by definition, you would be for open borders. <laughs> Oh, hey, what are you still doing here? Video's over. I'm off the clock, so go watch another one of my videos or something. Or better yet, you could subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell, and if you do that, then you'll get a notification when I actually am on the air and you can watch me then. In the meantime, I'm going to take a nap.